How are you doing today? My name is Ting, your NLP and hypnosis trainer. Now, today I'm going to talk about hypnosis again, and this time I'm going to talk about pendulums. So, the topic of today is actually the hypnosis. Hypnosis and then come with the one of the technique that we call pendulum. So, do you see somebody actually using this? Or you see some in the movie, yeah? In the movie, then you see somebody as in taking something like that. This is we call the pendulum, when actually it moves like this. So, we can see this type of scene in a Hollywood movie or any other movie. Then, the hypnotherapist using this to hypnotize people. But in fact, this is not the one that we are actually doing about. We do not need to use this pendulum to hypnotize people. But you, we use these pendulums as a biofeedback device. So what is biofeedback device? So we call these pendulums is a biofeedback device. So what is this actually? After this, I'm going to explain what is that actually meaning and um, I'm going to explain as well a few examples of how this pendulum actually helping people to solve their problems. So now, let me start by telling you how in terms of hypnotherapists, in terms of hypnosis, so how we are going to help our clients with these pendulums. And this is something that is very, very powerful and it actually gives us a lot, a lot of information. Now, so this is a hypnosis. So the pendulums, these pendulums must on the client's hand. So I'm the, I'm the hypnotherapist. I do not hold this pendulum for my clients. So the first rule, this pendulum must be on the client's hand. So of course, when you have this, it's much better compared for you to hold like this. Yeah. Then if we have a finger clips, then it actually clips around the finger like this. It clips around the finger and then it actually hang it like this by itself. Now, there is no outside force to move it. There is no outside force to move the pendulums. So the pendulums start not moved by me, uh, magic or voodoos. So you have to be very um, take heart and relax because this is not the hypnotherapist work, but it's actually all the movement is actually coming from you. So where does this movement actually coming from? It's actually coming from our micro muscle around our fingers. So our fingers, we have a lot of micro muscles. So when we have the finger clips, and then this clips onto the fingers, and then we want to ask our unconscious mind about some of the situations in our life, then our unconscious mind is going to tell us the answer. So when they tell us the answer, and then it going to move yes or no. So the one thing that coming in now, actually you have you have heard me say in the unconscious mind, unconscious mind. So actually this is something that is very important because uh, the unconscious mind actually move, actually it moves our micro muscle. In our fingers so that this pendulum actually either move to the directions that we have set for them all right so pendulum should work while our eye is open so we as a patient when we have set up this one our eye must open to see and then talk to our unconscious mind the eye see the pendulums and then our um, mouth actually talk to our conscious mind so this is actually is a conscious and unconscious interactions it is very important therefore it produces a lot of results because in our conscious mind and our unconscious mind 
actually working together. So this is uh, the time when we use these pendulums, then it actually helps and give a very, very good results. So our eye must open. So for the best result, we use the finger clips, as I have said, and then no holding on the pendulums. Yeah? Now, the upper arm, so this is mean the upper arm must position and then put in the kind of support. So that means I don't do it hanging. So the whole arm, my arm, yeah, my forearm and then my arm is actually put in a V shape. So you can see my arm is actually put in like this. But here my elbow should rest on the tables or something that is very solid so that my whole arm is actually stagnant. My muscle actually stagnant. My muscle actually frozen. And then there is no movement. I do not control it and my, my arm don't move it. If you, are, if you do like that, then definitely the answer, the result is not the real results. So you will get the wrong result by moving your arm because you want the result you want. But in fact, that is not the result that you can actually, your unconscious mind want you to know. So maybe, for example, I want to go this. And then because I want to go this, so I ask my unconscious mind using pendulums. But because I want to go there so eager, so I will move my arm so that it gives me a positive result. Then I go there. So this is not the real things that actually happen. The unconscious mind want to tell us. So now we come to the part where we, I say just now, we are asking questions. We are asking questions. So what the questions that we ask? Usually, we, uh, we ask the something that we actually we know. Because like for example, I have a sinus. I have a sinus. So I want to get my sinus here. So I can ask my unconscious mind because my unconscious mind is actually the place where it actually heals us. to make a lot of healing process in the unconscious level. So I can ask my body, yeah, my unconscious mind, how do I going to get healed out of this disease? So there is a questions guideline that we do not ask. Yeah, the very first thing, the very tricky question. We don't ask a very tricky question. For example, are you from Mars? Are you from Mars? It's a very tricky question. Then you know yourself, right? So you don't simply go and ask these stupid questions because consciously you have already know. Am I a man? I am a man, definitely. So the second type of question that we do not ask. Or do I have a disease in my body? So do you have a disease in your body? You should know. So if I want to heal of my any disease, which I'm being aware of, like for example, hyperpressure, like a cholesterol level, like a sinus, as I mentioned just now, and you know that you have, then you, are, you, you just ask your unconscious, I have this condition, do you know about it? Definitely the unconscious level will say yes because your unconscious level know everything about you Yeah, so you do not ask an open questions, which is like do I have any disease in my body? So the, the third one is actually we say we don't ask something related to our marketing or business questions So I do not going to ask my unconscious level should I going to do this business? Should I go venture into that partnerships? So we don't ask these type of questions because that is actually we need to go through a conscious analysis of where we are and then what we can do and there's so many other questions then we do not use these pendulums. Yeah. The fourth one, we do not predict the futures. So we do not ask, can I win the lottery? By buying this number, can I win the lottery? Or oh, this is something that is um, maybe a lot of people they were going to ask in the temple. Yeah, a lot of people they're going to ask, give me the four numbers so that I can buy and then I can make money. So can your unconscious mind going to help you on this? Psychologically, it's actually not. Yeah. So we do not predict the future. So the questions about money, the fifth one is about the questions about the money. How much do I earn this year? 
So you don't ask your unconscious mind how much do I earn this year? How I how can your unconscious mind going to tell you how much you're going to earn? And then the sixth one is the decisions that the conscious mind should make. For example, yeah, what does that mean? The decisions of the conscious mind should make. Should I marry this lady or should I maybe my girl, should I marry my girlfriend? Now, marry a, a girlfriend or a boyfriend is something your conscious mind need to do a lot of analysis. For example, in terms of marriage, it doesn't mean that you love that person, then you marry. There are so many other things that actually coming in. Yeah? So therefore, we don't ask these type of questions. So what is the question that we ask? What should we ask our unconscious level? Now, I have encountered so many uh, situations that we I use a pendulum to help the people. Yeah, and then um, I'm going to give two examples. Yeah, the one is the kids, and then the other one is the men. So the kids is actually having a sinus, and then using this pendulum to get rid of the sinus immediately. Yeah, and then the other man is actually using the pendulums. And then to increase the testosterone level. Sound amazing because uh, these two I'm going to elaborate later. And after that, then you will know what do I mean by that. Yeah? So now let's, let's go to the next one. So um, just now I have said, then we have to set up the pendulums. So we, we talk to our clients and then we, we get the client. To use the dominant hand, I am the right-hander, therefore this is my dominant hand. So I use my right hand, I choose any one of the finger, and then I clip on these pendulums to my finger, and then my elbow actually, like for example, imagine there is a table, so I rest my elbow on the tables. Alright, so imagine there is a table, so I rest it there. So when I let, rest it there, my whole arm, actually we call catalepsy. It becomes stagnant, it becomes hard. So that I do not swing my arm in order to produce the result I want. Alright, so when we set up this, then our angle, yeah, our, our, our forearm and, and our arm here is almost 90 degrees. So it's like a V-shape. So from here, you can see it quite clear, right? It's actually a V-shape. So now, we start to do the work. So do you know what to do to solve this problem? So we ask our unconscious mind. So we need to mention what is a problem. And then, do you know what to do to solve the problem? So if the answer is yes or no, there is definitely there is an answer of yes or no. So before I go further, right, let me show you this diagram. You can see very clearly, right? This is a diagram for the pendulums. So the pendulum actually you can see from here, with, there is a two main one is yes and no. Two main one is actually yes and no. So usually we, um, we set up our arm yeah, like this. So we will ask our unconscious mind give us a signal of yes. For example, I say I let's say yeah, I pull the this pendulum and then I let go. It will definitely swing. Let's say I will say pen, uh, unconscious mind, this is the signal of yes. So it will swing. It will swing in the direction. So this is a signal of yes. This is a signal of yes. You do it few times, then your micro muscle on your finger remember that movement. And then your unconscious mind actually know, okay, this is the movement of yes. This is the movement of yes. So when you have set the direction of yes, then the second thing you want to do is actually set the movement of no. So you will say, this is the movement of no. So this is a movement of no. So you tell your unconscious mind few times, few times, then this is a movement of no. So this is yes, then this is no. That two, yeah, is actually perpendicular. So 
this is a movement of yes, this is a movement of no, then it's very, very clear cut. So now, for example, so if we say, then you, you, you ask the client to open up the eye to, to, to look at the pendulums, yeah? So when the, the movement, right, the movement of, let's say I say this is yes, but at the end, the, the, the pendulum actually move, 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 and then until it actually go into one direction, which is maybe different than your, what you expected, yeah? It's okay. So for example, like um, I say, this is a movement of yes, but when the pendulum move, it goes sideways. Then what we should do? Actually, this is a chart, so we just turn. We just turn a little bit. Let's say the, at first it's like this, the going, going, going one direction, but then, but then when the move, the movement of the yes, yeah, it actually turn, not onto this path. It actually turned this way. So what we should do, we just turn the chart according to the movement of the pendulums. So it's actually very simple, yeah? You just monitor how the movement of the pendulums and then you put this chart underneath, yeah? Because this is uh, not the real uh, class. So therefore, is uh, you need to imagine. I put this chart underneath this when this is the movement of yes, yeah, this is a movement of yes, so I will turn this uh, chart according to this, so that this movement is on yes. All right, got it? Yes, then, if then, after that, we set the movement of no. So this is the movement of no. So you will put this chart underneath these pendulums. And then you see the, the, the matching point here is actually where the pendulum is actually pointing to. The pointing to here, this part, so that whenever the pendulum moves, it's either yes or no, or maybe, maybe, or not sure, right? So now, then we ask the question, do you know what to do to solve these problems? So therefore, it either pendulum say yes, or pendulum say no, or maybe, or not sure. Yeah. So if the question is uh, is uh, don't know or then we ask a second question. So how did this possible? Let's say they say um, yes or no. Then we will say how did this possible? So we will we will know that the person will going to tell you yeah. So how the uh, unconscious is going to tell you that whether you have the limiting belief, limiting decisions, or you do not have. Or, or is it okay? Is it okay for you to solve it? Then we will listen to the secondary gain. So I do not want to solve this problem because I have secondary gain. So for example, what is secondary gain? I want to quit smoking. I want to quit, but I don't quit. So why should I? As a grown adult, I know smoking is not good to the body, not good to the health. Then why should I continue of smoking? Because there is a secondary gain. The secondary gain maybe it keep me awake so that I can do my work. Or it make me relax when I smoke. Then I can be more productive and more creative. So these are the secondary gain to the people who smoke. But then, of course, this is just an example that I'm giving to you. So we still depend on the client how they're going to tell us. So now, now let's go there. Yeah. So if okay, let's say we we already know how to solve the problems. Give us a signal of yes. Give us a signal of no. Yeah. So. Now, then we are going to ask our unconscious mind how to start and then when to start and when it finished. So we will just ask, yeah? Sometimes the unconscious mind like to start to solve a problem like this in as little as one day or you say two days, three days, it all depends on you, yeah? It's, and sometimes unconscious mind would like to take a longer time, a long time to start solving this problem as long as one week, one month, or how, then you ask. So, how quickly will you start? So you say, now then you will say, can I start to solve this problem within 24 hours? Yes or no? Then you ask the unconscious mind, yes or no? I'm going to start to start to solve this problem by 24 hours? Yes or no? Unconscious mind give you the answer, yes or no? Right. Then if the answer is yes, then fine. Then you know by your unconscious mind is going to help you to solve your problem within 24 hours. 
But if the unconscious mind say no, then what should we do? Should we should go and, and, and enlarge the time? We make it longer. Then how about then we will ask our conscious mind? How about in uh, forty eight hours, two days? Is that uh, is that uh, yes or no? You can solve the problem. Starting to solve the problem within twenty uh, forty eight hours, yes or no? Then it will give you a number. So if still no, let's say uh, let's say still no, then we put it another day, the uh, three days. The uh, seventy two hours. So you will say, let's uh, can you solve this problem? Start to solve this problem within seventy two hours. This time, then the unconscious might say yes. For example, then we know this problem. Our unconscious mind need three days to start to solve the problem. Okay, you got it right. Yeah, and then we we know then. Our problem is going to start to solve within three days. So that means when I cannot uh, sleep, I have insomnia. So unconscious mind say uh, I'm going to solve this problem within seventy two days. So I'm expecting to have the insomnia for uh, tonight, another night, and this problem insomnia problem is going to solve on the third day. So I'm, uh, I know that I'm going to start to solve this problem on the third day. So I expect tonight I cannot sleep, and tomorrow night I cannot sleep, and then the day after I will sleep like a baby. So this is how we interpret this uh, pendulum movement, and then how it actually helping us. Yeah, and this is uh, to start to solve the problem. Likewise, we're going to ask our unconscious mind how it's going to end. So we will say sometimes the unconscious mind like to finish solving a problem like this in a little as one day, two day, three day. It all depends on you, yeah. And sometimes the unconscious mind like to start take a longer time to finish solving these problems like this as long as how many days or how many hours. So how quickly will you like to finish? Then you same thing. You see these two questions actually is just similar. Is one is start and one is end. One is start and one is end. So you just ask your unconscious mind how long you take to solve the problems. Can you do it in one day? Yes or no? Then you let the unconscious mind show you the sign. Ask your unconscious mind show me yes or no, and then it, it will show you yes or no. Let's say yes. That means that problem will be solved within one day. All right. So sometimes the problem it take longer. Sometimes it take very short. Now I would like to go back to the uh, example that I have uh, mentioned just now. The kid have the asthma, ha have the sinus. Yeah. The kid have the sinus. This kid having a sinus. The problems, and then after putting up the pendulums, then get the unconscious mind to set the signal of yes and no. Set the signal of yes and no. So the the setting up the pendulum, ah, uh, sometimes the pendulum, sometimes our unconscious mind is going to move the pendulums. It's very obvious. It's very obvious. So it moves a lot of movement. Sometimes it actually move very little. It actually move very little. So that means and your unconscious mind may be very shy. I uh, don't want to move a lot. But it doesn't matter. Just as it give you an indication, give you a movement is actually good enough for you to know yes or no. It's actually sufficient. Now, the boy asks the unconscious mind, "Say, I have an uh, sinus. I have an sinus. Yeah, I have a sinus. Do you know? Yes or no? Ask the unconscious mind. So the unconscious mind say, "Yes, I know, because that is his body. Yeah, the unconscious mind no say yes." And then um, the boy that asked the himself actually, how about so? Can you solve this problem? Then he said yes. Unconscious mind said yes. So the boy says, can you stop the sinus immediately? The pendulum say the unconscious mind through the pendulum say yes, and immediately the sinus actually here. Immediately, the sinus actually heal. Now, on this is actually very controversial. So, a lot of people they ask me whether 
the boy's sinus is going to come back or this is one and for all healing so as you know the body of developing uh, sinus in terms of medicals they are secondary gain or there are certain signs that actually you want to the body want to tell you whether your body is actually very uh, your body very sensitive to certain things and then it actually reflect into the sinus situations so therefore in terms of sickness right then of course the further things that we need to really solve this then we need to know what actually trigger the sinus so if let's say it's the dust or something uh, let's say it's a study pressure or anything in life that, that trigger the sinus then we need to know the factor then we need to solve that problems otherwise the sinus is going to come back it's exactly the same for the people who suffer high blood pressure the cholesterol and then the diabetics or any disease in life then you need to know what is the trigger point so you need to get rid of that so that your unconscious mind can work better for your body all right now the second example that i'm going to tell you is actually a man 40 over years old man came to me saying that um want to increase the testosterone level because as as we all know our body going to deteriorate over the times so put up the pendulums and then tell the unconscious mind i am now 40 over years old my testosterone level is actually dropping yes or no he asked the unconscious mind then actually he said yes of course definitely this is very natural yeah it's yes so the man asked the unconscious mind so can you increase my testosterone level the answer say yes so can you increase it immediately the answer actually say yes so of course the testosterone levels increase then there are a lot of things that actually we can see yeah as you know the biology then you know yeah and then uh, how that person actually know that the testosterone level actually increase now for men yeah some of the men they have a body hair either on the arm or on the chest or maybe on the leg yeah and when the uh, testosterone level actually dropping if let's say for the person who have the hair the the hair actually drop because uh, lesser testosterone level but then for this man right he actually one day out of nowhere he discovered that the hair on the leg actually grow back it actually grow back it's actually indicated that the body actually react to produce more testosterone then of course the second thing that we can know to whether our testosterone level is increased is actually actually through the sex drive this is very obvious the sex drive and then also the muscle mass the muscle mass testosterone is actually for men or for women to build muscle so if your muscle mass is actually increased it means that your testosterone level actually increase and you will have been more powerful you can push more weight and then your sex drive is actually increased see it's for men and for women because the testosterone is also in women and then this is the main hormone for people for person to grow healthy and to have a better sex life so the pendulums is actually work it gives you the indication therefore it says it's a biofeedback device so how the biofeedback device actually working is actually through the movement of the micro muscle in your fingers and where does this um, micro muscle movement coming from is actually coming from your unconscious mind so when you come to your un from your unconscious mind it actually is something that is very very healthy and it's actually very good why because we do not need to have a outside interference 
like for example taking the anabolic steroid to increase the muscle or to take the testosterone booster to boost up the testosterone but we just ask our unconscious mind to do the work for the boy with the sinus no need to no need to take any medications immediately the sinus actually goes off so if the boy actually uh, being aware of his situation the trigger factor of his sinus and then keep the distance away from that then actually the boy will not have any sinus problem in the future yeah so the testosterone level also the same we need to do a lot of uh, movement multi-movement exercise like we go to the gyms or we do uh, a lot of uh, heavy uh, sports we need to trigger it so that the testosterone level is going to increase naturally and then it is very safe because instead of putting a lot of chemical into our body the normal natural testosterone is actually very very helpful so this is hypnosis and pendulums so this is a pendulum and then with the finger clips so if you want to learn more you want to know more about hypnosis so actually hypnosis as you have listened to here now actually i can demiss a lot of uh, hypnosis uh, misconception in my video so that you know hypnosis is actually not to put you into dreams and then to take money out of you but it actually is a method for medications to release your stress to release your past limitations and then to release your negative emotions why we need to release all this because you want to live a better life isn't it you want to master your destiny you want to be a happy person so come to my class you learn this by experience through the classmate to the, the other students together and then you will be able to practice this for yourself and for your family member and if you are a business person for your subordinate for your colleagues to make money grow to make your business running better because all this we remove away uh, the limitation we feel that we are so inadequate we remove all this leveling so that it helps you so that your business grow your money your wealth is increased my name is Ting. i'm your nlp and hypnosis trainer come to my class and learn the skill and make your life better thank you very much